Ankh here today with Galactus Junk. This is listed as a tier 1 deck on Marvel Snap Zone, and it certainly feels like it. Uh, you end up just throwing a decent amount of negative power on their side more often than not, with things like Green Goblin, Hobgoblin, the Void from the Sentry, and your opponent has to play around that possible Galactus. But realistically, I find it's kind of hard to actually pull off the Galactus because people are pretty savvy to what you might be trying to do, and they scramble and they overcommit to stopping the Galactus, which is great. You know, they stopped your one card, but did they win the other two lanes? Often not. And so, yeah, this just feels like a really solid deck, a great deck to climb with. It counters the Super Giant as well, just having an Alioth in your deck and often having priority, which kind of hurts the Super Giant's game plan typically with what they're trying to do. So like and subscribe if you haven't already and enjoy the games. I can't tell you how many times I got comboed by this deck where they would exactly Selene like Green Goblin and Hobgoblin or at least a Hobgoblin minus 11 on a location I hadn't really started stacking. And uh, we'll do the same. And then, and then Galactusing me without really any recourse. Hmm. So this is kind of the battle of... We won't play the demon, because junking up our board is kind of scary. We also don't really want priority here. Oh, maybe not an Annihilus deck? Or it's probably a casual Annihilus. <laughs> Interesting. Casual Annihilus meaning they probably have like Sentry Annihilus. Clear for takeoff. I think we just do that now. It's kind of weak, but it's really our only play. hand is so full the hood wouldn't even go in which is maybe what they want maybe what they want they are gonna annihilus where would they do it probably do it right out of fear of galactusing which makes a lieth right kind of tempting but i think just a raw galactus is kind of cool It's a lot of power, but not as much power as a Galactus. There's definitely some concern that they would have Annihilus, but uh, rightly so, I think it was my best opportunity. They had so much cards that they could play because of the beast bounce shenanigans. Look at all that power. Junk Galactus. So this deck is pretty popular right now. Um, I've seen a lot of people run it against me, and at first I didn't think it was that great. And I think this deck started to gain popularity... Uh... Play that there. It started to gain popularity last week, or the week before, but it really has started to pick up this week. And I think it's in part due to Supergiant, even though I haven't seen anyone actually play Supergiant, but I think people realized, hey, if there is a Supergiant, this is pretty good. Discard deck, huh? Hellcow? Selene's kind of awkward because, like, this is a bot, right? Why would you play? Uh, sure, it gets revived, but very strange. Hmm, okay. Magic. Magic with a hell cow. I guess this is probably a hella deck. Ooh, 
we want to take a chance with Hellcow? I mean, at this point, we don't really have a whole lot going for us here. And it would really suck to skip a whole turn. So maybe we do. Maybe we take a chance. Those are probably the two most cuttable cards, so I'm okay with that. <laughs> so he had a Galactus from me. Lost a bishop, huh? Um, why would they snap? Are they gonna super giant me? Okay, kind of feels like a bot. You could sentry and then nihilus. It's not the worst thing. I'm a little afraid of them trying to end the game early. I'm not entirely sure what their game plan is right now. Uh, but I feel like this is the best play. It also gives me priority just to potentially a Lyoth next turn. Okay, like a Sarah Control kind of deck. I don't think I've seen Sarah Control with a Hell Cow though. I don't know. This feels like... <laughs> like, if they play Shang-Chi, they have 8 here. They'd be winning that. So I think we just play it there. felt like a bot, but that could have been a real person, frankly. I mean, I don't know. It's a weird deck. I'll tell you that. I think the strong thing about this deck is there's just not a particularly good tech card against this deck. Like, Shang-Chi, it'll kill the Sentry, but that's really about it. Besides that, we don't have any negative power cards, or uh, over 10, 10 and up power cards. Dazzling. Some considerations to Green Goblin, but I think we're better off just throwing this junk in their hand. don't know if they would have Killmonger. Six, seven. Probably just makes sense to do this, though. Okay. Are they gonna play Jeff right away? I think we do this now before... They do have Jeff before they draw it. I mean, I know that Dazzler can still grow. Which is why I think Eliath is just the move here. We Eliath right. Wasn't pretty. Victory. But... Victory's not always pretty. I haven't upgraded this Galactus variant because I kind of just like the plain white border. Um, maybe at some point when they allow the border swapping to happen, which seems kind of inevitable. Maybe then I'll uh, upgrade it. But there's a few that I'm never touching again until they allow that. Like this Nebula border, the purple, gold with the purple. We could just swap the hood into our deck. That might be the play.
You don't have a Nihilus, so... It's not in hand. Magic, Ravona, and a Zabu. Whoa. Plus an Elysium. I don't know, that makes me a bit nervous, huh? I don't know how much I want priority, so this might be a good play just because it stops us from getting priority. And he's gonna get my Ravona? Whoa. Kinda wanted to do nothing again. It would have been really nice if we could have got like a Hobgoblin, because then we could throw it right, potentially close off that lane, and then Galactus them. But we don't have priority, so we can't just draw a Nihilith. Not so sure what to do right now. I think that might be the play though. Long. If we have priority, that's a good thing here because they're probably gonna just play into here. And then just split up the rest of the power like here this is just turn six though I don't know makes me a bit nervous but I think we want to Eliath now just too many shenanigans for them Like, if they Shang-Chi me, that's not that impressive. Wakanda forever! I am Iron Man. <laughs> oh, wow. I did not expect... Just a Black Panther. They changed the animation on the screen. It doesn't like, it's not as strong of a victory or a defeat now. Seven turns. Well, the cool thing about that is if we do try to end the game early, Uh, we can kind of surprise do so with Galactus middle on turn six and they may not expect that to happen they may be hoping for one more turn because of limbo that being said this is pretty well <laughs> okay pretty well obvious I think what's happening with this kind of a deck mm-mm -mm. Do we just try and junk up their hand with Black Widow? Or do we try to set up a sentry? The dangerous thing about the sentry is the armor moves over. If they fill up the board <laughs> before then, that's kind of scary. So maybe we just say, hey, take a junk card in your hand. Interesting. Well, they may not be able to do too much against just like Hobgoblin Galactus. <laughs> okay. So it seems like to me, they're trying to set up something for an Eliath themselves. What I like is <laughs> destroying, like they can't do anything about that. We'll end up winning that lane. This kind of splits up the power level, and then we can just like a Nihilus. Hmm. 
Nihilus plus... What's a set 11? Like, that'll get destroyed. What could they have played here for two cards? It might be... their own sentry. So maybe having this filled up is kind of... a wise play. <laughs> Look at these guys. Look at these super giant players. That's why this deck is pretty solid right now. The super giant is not very good against this deck. Okay. Uh, Galactusing early. <laughs> Kind of cool with that happening. So it looks like we're probably playing a mirror. Because that's what most of these hood decks have been. I think I did see one hood bounce though. Zabu might be a hood bounce. Just like cementing the fact that they're never going to win this. Castle Blackstone is pretty big. It does mean we can't Galactus. But I don't think we'd want a Galactus early anyway. To be honest. Like, they can't play many more cards there. Do that. Got him. Could Galactus now if we so desire, which if we draw a Lyoth, we probably do. Hmm. They can see it coming. But I think that's still the play. Because it forces them to have to react to that. <laughs> I mean, if ours goes off, we don't have priority. If ours goes off, that means we're ahead. We have priority. Almost certainly. There'd be some weird thing that would have to happen. Like if they played a Wolverine down right or left or something. Uh, then maybe not. But... Okay. Systems go. Guess they're risking the fact that I don't have a life or an Ilus. So we send that back on over. Doesn't guarantee to win us that lane, but at least it frees up. We already played their demon. Uh, it does put us in a bit of an awkward position, though, because if they just fill this up, they probably win. Probably. Goliath me? Oh, that was brutal. It took a risk, though, if I had played those right. I guess not, really, huh? Well, if I had played both of them right, that would have been a pretty big risk on my part. I think the thing you gotta keep in mind when you're climbing, uh, is that it feels bad to lose, right? And retreating kind of feels like losing, ultimately. But retreating for one cube is really a victory. It's a victory in itself because <laughs> getting out of there with minimal damage and being able to recognize that will put you ahead of probably 90% of the snap player base. So as bad as it may feel to know that you're still losing a cube, do not let it bring you down. We don't have a Nihilus in hand yet, so let's uh, do that. We'll Hobgoblin, it's gonna get pulled over by Asteroid.
that's okay. Because we'll just play it there anyway. Discard deck, huh? With a collector. That's fine. Clear for takeoff. So they probably got swarms. I guess throwing another card into their hand is probably not a good thing with Black Widow then. We don't have a Nihilus yet, so... Sentry's not the best. Selene's kind of in a weird spot as well, because we don't really want to hit our, uh, our, our Eliath with that. Let's do that. I know throwing a card in their hand maybe not the best thing. But it's kind of our best play. Maybe it'll just put it over the edge. I'll burn five. Uh, it won't be shang chi still. Maybe we just give up on the Eliath dream. I think it's still worth it. Shab is. But whatever that is, you will not draw it. They're almost certainly going to Modoc. I mean, that seems like the only real play. I guess it's a question of where. I mean, you'd think they would do it left, just to give them a little extra power there. Because they have no real hope of winning right. Which makes a Lyth left pretty tempting. They're also likely to play a card just to stop the Nebula, but maybe they just play it middle and think, hey, I get a bunch of power just from my Modoc. We could try and split the power and throw a sentry down. I think this is the play. It's kind of risky. They're also taking their time. Oof. That's a risk. Very easily could have lost that. With a Modoc middle or something like that. 